If you're looking at Designer and wondering whether it's actually worth using, especially in 2026, then this review will help you to make a clear decision whether it's right for you. So I've personally been using Design myself for about four years now. So instead of just reading features off a sales page, I can actually give you real world pros and cons of using Designer. I'll tell you about a couple of things that other reviewers probably won't mention, one of which could actually be a deal breaker for you. And of course, I'll show you how it works, including letting the AI write an entire ebook for us so we can see the quality that it produces. You can then see what you're actually getting. Hi, my name's Steve from entrepreneurnut.com and on this channel, I share tips, tools, and strategies to help you work smarter, not harder. Now, let's get into the video. Now, before we get started, just to let you know that Designer does have a hidden lifetime deal available, which is $27 one-time payment for lifetime access to the standard plan. I'll tell you all the details about that later on in the video, and the link to that lifetime deal is in the description box below this video. Okay, so diving into the Designer dashboard right here, quickly let me show you around. As you can see, it's a clean and clear dashboard. It's nicely laid out and easy to navigate, which is something I really appreciate. Now on your homepage right here, you will see at the bottom, if you scroll down, your most recent projects that you created in your Designer account right here, as well as being able to access them all from the Projects tab on the left menu bar right here. Now when it comes to actually creating with Designer, we've got a few quick start options at the top here. For example, if you're creating an ebook or an audiobook, or if you want to create either an ebook or an audiobook from a URL, like a blog post or even an MP3, you can just drop it in here. But that said, right here, these are the different options you have available to you when it comes to creating with Designer. So, first of all, right here, you can use Designer's Word Genie feature, which will write the entire contents of your ebook for you. And I'll show you that in a few moments. Or if you already have your content written, for example, let's say you don't want to use AI, you want to write it yourself, and you want to import that content into Designer to then create your ebook, you'd use this option here and import it from either a Google Doc or a Word Doc. You can create PDF flipbooks, which I'll show you in a little while. You can also import content from a blog post and turn that into an ebook, or you can import from a PDF or from a YouTube video or any video file, really, in which case you'd use this option, or you can even import from a podcast and turn that podcast into an ebook too. Okay, now let me show you Design It in Action so you can get an idea of what you can do. So to create an ebook, we're going to come up to this top left option right here, where it says a new ebook. We're going to click on this. And now Designer brings us into a wizard. This is really simple. All we have to do is follow the steps. So Designer is asking, first of all, what you'd like to create. And from the drop down, you can select ebook or audiobook. Let's go with the ebook. And then it's asking what format you want our ebooks to be published in. So you can publish it as a PDF, flipbook, direct to Amazon Kindle, HTML, EPUB, or live ebook. So let's go with PDF. Now it's asking us what we're going to use for our baseline. And the options here are multiple. So first of all, we could actually use Desire's AI writing tool Word Genie right here to write the entire contents for us. We're not going to do that just yet, but I will show you that in a few moments. With the other options right here, you can import your own content from a Word doc, Google doc, import from a blog post URL, import from YouTube, import from a podcast, or import from another PDF, or from any other video format. So for this option, I'm going to show you, first of all, how to create an ebook from a blog post. Let me show you this. We now have a form field where we can paste the URL of our blog post. So let's head over to my blog and let's choose perhaps this article right here. So I'm going to open up this article and I'm going to copy the URL of this article, head back to Designer and paste in my URL. Click add and now straight away the designer has already pulled the content of my blog post into my designer account and then click next and straight away we can see designer has pulled the entire blog post into our editor right here inside of designer including all the images and all the links and everything so this is great everything's intact so to start with what you might want to do is just make a few edits for example anything you want to delete i would just delete this and i'd also delete this banner at the top we don't need that i'd also delete this blog post publish date i wouldn't want that in my ebook so i could continue to do this manually or I can click on any section and add more content or images manually, as well as transforming text, adding bullet points and quotes and so on if I wanted to. Or I could even click on the Word Genie function right here and use Designer's AI writing tool, Word Genie, to either rewrite sections of my ebook or adjust the tone or fix the spelling and grammar or reduce the paragraph if it's a bit too wordy or even expand it and add more to my content, which is awesome. So I can do that paragraph by paragraph right here, or I can come up to the top left right here and click on Enhance with AI, where we can then ask Word Genie to help us with the editing process of the entire content. For example, if you wanted to do rewording of anything, generate more images, optimize the structure, fix your spelling and punctuation, or even add more content, which is awesome. So here we have this option to generate more images. Let's select this, click on Enhance with AI and see what images Word Genie comes up with for us. And what's really cool here is rather than Word Genie making edits directly to your content, what it does is it's now created created a duplicate of your ebook content. So here we have the original and now here we have the advanced version and this is where more images have now been placed in. So this is new. So for example, I can select one of these images or if I didn't like any of those images that Word Genius has created for us, I can click on this button right here to upload my own images or choose one from my own gallery within my designer account. 
So just for speed, let's select this one and click on use this image. And now that's been inserted into our ebook content. If we scroll through, we'll see here's another section where Word Genie recommends an image to go. Let's choose this one, use image, and there we go. So pretty simple and super handy. Let's click this one as well and so on. Anyway, you get the idea. Let's go back to the start of our content right here where we have my intro paragraph. Now let's say I wanted to expand this. So what I could do is highlight my text, click on Word Genie and then click expand. And Word Genie will now rewrite this and expand on it as well for us. And there we go. Word Genie has now rewritten and expanded on this content. But like I said at the beginning, it's not perfect. Like no tool is perfect. So it's put all this in one block. So all we just need to do is just manually space out your content to make it more reader friendly. So not a biggie, but I would like it to see that in the future, the designer team enhance this feature to do the spacing automatically for you when Word Genie rewrites or edits your content. I'm sure they will at some point because as being a long term user of designer myself, I have seen designer go through multiple upgrades over the years and their team is constantly working on improving the tool. Also down the bottom right corner here, we have the chat button where you can speak to their support. They do also have this option here to suggest feature requests as well, which is brilliant. So if you think there's anything worth adding to designer, just let them know and their dev team will consider it. Then that aside, if you did need to get support for any reason, you can do that right here very easily. And in my experience, the wait time I usually find is about one to two hours and then I get an email reply, which is pretty good. Anyway, that aside, let's go back to our content. Let's say now we're happy with this content. This is just a demo for you guys. I'm not actually gonna be using this for anything. So once you're happy with it, go up to choose a template in the top right corner, click on this. And now Design will bring us into their template library and they do have hundreds of templates in here to choose from. And you can search their template library by keyword by entering your keyword right here. Or you can select by type. If you want a standard layout or a two column layout inside your ebook, or you can search by theme and so on. When you select any of these ebooks, if you click on one, you'll see first of all what the font cover looks like right here. And yes, this is editable. And then down the bottom here, these are what the internal pages look like as well. So it gives you a good idea before you actually select the template if it's one you want to run with. Now, in my opinion, some of these templates are really nice, but others can be a little bit boring. But that said, there are actually hundreds to choose from. So you do actually have loads of options. Let's just go with this one for now, just for speed. If I click on use this template, this is now going to bring our content into this template and into an editor where we can then make the final touches to our ebook. So now designers dropped our entire content into our ebook right here. And what we can do is go through, make any final edits before we publish our ebook. But first of all, when it comes to the front cover right here, you can make any changes. For example, if you want to change the images or change the font, or if you want to completely change the cover yourself. For example, what I do from time to time is I like the internal layout of the pages, but I want to change the front cover. Sometimes I put together a cover I design myself in Canva. If I don't find exactly what I'm looking for in the designer library, and then you can simply click on change image, go to my images and upload your front cover right here and switch the front cover out. And changing the text as simple as clicking on it and then just adjusting and dragging it where you want it. Let's put that in the middle. Don't need this. I'm just going to delete this. And as we go through, we'll notice that Designer also creates an interactive table of contents here. So once you publish this ebook, your readers will be able to click on any of these links in the table of contents and jump straight to that section, which is a really nice feature. And then looking in the sidebar on the left right here, we've also got lots of other features that you can use. For example, if you want to embed a video into your ebook or add new images or add QR codes or call to action buttons as well. For example, if you're promoting your products in your ebook, you can do that quite effectively with these call to action buttons. I'll show you that in a minute. And you can also, again, use designers Word Genie feature right here if you want to add more content to your ebook. Let's say we want to add more content, we can just drop Where's Genie right in here and ask it to say, perhaps, summarize the importance of choosing an evergreen niche, hit return, and now Where's Genie is going to add that content for us to our ebook. So here's the content it's writing for us. And if I didn't like that, I can hit the regenerate button right here, or if I'm happy with it, click insert, and it will insert this content now into our ebook. And just like that, and I'm going to just drag this over just to align it with our text. So pretty simple. Now, if you're used to working with drag and drop page builders, then you'll pick up the designer pretty quickly. Otherwise, there is a bit of a learning curve and it might take a couple of days to get yourself familiar with all the features that designer has. So just bear that in mind. Now, back inside our ebook, let me just show you a couple more things you can do. So, for example, if there's images like this you want to change, you can just simply click on it, change the image. You can either import your own image right here or you can search a keyword, then choose from designer's image library. And you can have access to all these images, click the one you want and designer will switch it out for you. When it comes to text, if you want to adjust any of the text, for example, you want to change the font or the size, you can do that simply right here. But if you notice, I just changed this paragraph only. The other paragraph did not change there. But if I did want to change the size or the font of the entire contents of my whole ebook, then all you'd do is I can highlight one of these paragraphs right here. I come up to the top left right here where it says make changes to all elements. If I toggle this to on and now I select the size, we will see that the size now changes across all of our paragraphs just like that. 
And similarly, you always change the heading fonts. You always change it to all of your headings. They're all uniform. It comes to the top left. You make sure that changes to all elements is switched on. And then you make the change you want to make. For example, this font, that's now changed to all of the heading elements within our ebook. And now also, like I said, I'm not going to show you every single design feature. Otherwise, this video will go on forever. It's just to give you guys an idea of how designer works. One more thing I want to show you is the call to action button. If I drop this in here, we can add these nice call to actions with a button. And this could be a link to our product, for example. And this looks great. It really stands out in your ebook, catch the attention of your readers and get them interested in the products that you're promoting or wherever you want to send them to next. Then once you're happy with your ebook, come to the bottom and click on publish. And now designers can give us multiple options to publish our ebook. For example, you can publish it as a PDF, you can publish it direct to Amazon Kindle, or even turn it into an audiobook on the high price plans. And I'll get into the pricing in a minute and tell you what you get for each plan. But for now, let's click on export this to PDF. The designer is telling us that this could take up to 30 minutes to complete the project, but in my experience, it is usually a bit quicker than that. So I'll pause the video and I'll be back to you in a sec once the ebook is ready. Okay, so that took about three minutes. I've just got an email from the designer letting me know that our project is ready. So if I head back to the homepage, my dashboard, and I'll see my projects right here, I can click on the eye icon to see our ebook in PDF format. Or I can also click on these dots and click on the mock-up cover creator. And with a couple of clicks, I can create a nice 3D mock-up cover for my ebook. So if I click on this one and just like that, designer has instantly created us a nice 3D mock-up cover for our ebook. And if you want to see what the live flipbook looks like, you can see that right here. The designer now opens our ebook as a flipbook and you can toggle this at the bottom to start toggling across through the pages. This looks really cool. So this is a really nice way how your customers can easily read your ebook from their device. So that's great if you already have content written or if you want to turn blog posts into ebooks. But what if you don't have any content and you want the AI to write it for you? So now let me show you Word Genie creating the entire content of an ebook for you. And we'll have a closer look at the quality of that content too. So here we are back in Designer. We're going to go to a new ebook. And again, we're going to create an ebook and publish it as a PDF. And for our baseline this time, we're going to choose Word Genie right here. So now we need to choose the topic of our ebook. So let's just say we're a fitness coach and we want to create an ebook on losing weight. So I select health and wellness, click next, and then click let's start. Then we go to next. So first of all, we have to enter our niche, just say weight loss. And of course, we're going to publish it in English because I'm English. But we do have multiple languages you can choose from right here. Hit the next button. And now designer wants to know our sub niche. If you don't like any of these, you can regenerate the list. So I'm going to go with intermittent fasting techniques, go to next. And now designer wants to know our audience. Let's say busy professionals who want to lose weight through intermittent fasting. Click next. And now designer is going to come up with a title for us. Now, if you don't like any of these, you can click the regenerate button. But I think I quite like this one, lean and focused, mastering intermittent fasting for professionals. Let's go with this. Click next. And now designer wants to know the tone of voice. So let's go with, yeah, enthusiastic. Click next. And now designer is going to create the entire outline for our book, or Word Genie, I should say, will create the entire outline for our book right here. So here's the outlines of our chapters and what should be in each chapter. So let's have a closer look. Starting off with instruction to intermittent fasting, then understanding your body, choosing the right fasting methods. So this is looking pretty good to me. Now, I'm not actually an expert on this topic, but if you were, which I assume you would if you're writing this kind of ebook, you can just make any changes that you might want to change just by clicking to edit your content. Now, just for speed, just so don't waste your guys' time, I'm not going to create the entire content of this whole ebook. Let me just create the content for the first four chapters. So I'm going to delete these chapters, and that's just for speed because I'm not actually using this ebook other than to show you guys how Word Genie works. Now we also have this nice feature here where Word Genie will add images for your content as well. So if I toggle this on, now on the next step, Word Genie is going to add image suggestions, placing them exactly where they need to be in each chapter. So let's go to next. And now we'll start to see Word Genie creating our content and also placing the images in our content too, or suggesting places where the images should be. And we can see right here that Word Genie is writing the content in real time. So we can have a read while Word Genie continues creating the next part of our content. So if I zoom in, you can get a good look at this content and see what the quality is like. Now, of course, I don't actually advocate on publishing an ebook, certainly not selling an ebook that's 100% AI written. So, what you want to do really at this point is heavily edit it and then put in your own knowledge, your own experiences, your own personal anecdotes to massively speed up the process of creating your ebook and giving you a great outline that you can then edit and make it your own with your own content. So now here again, we can see the images that Word Genie is suggesting for us. Let's go with this one. It's going to add that image in, which looks pretty nice. And here we go. Now we can see that Word Genie has finished writing our content. It's also given a few images to insert into our ebook too. And these are great. I mean, considering that's an AI image, that looks pretty realistic to me. And of course, you can continue to edit your content right here if you want to, or later on when the content is inside your template for your ebook. That said, personally, I do find it easier to edit it at this stage rather than later on once it's in your ebook template. Then once you're happy, just as before, you go to choose your template and everything from here to complete the process of creating your ebook, exactly the same as how I showed you before. 
So now let's have a quick rundown of the pros and cons of using the designer and who it's good for and who it's not so good for. So for the designer pros, you can create pro quality eBooks quickly. You can turn blog posts into eBooks as well as turning YouTube videos into eBooks and podcasts into eBooks too. The AI writing tool can write your entire content for you, or it can help to edit your content and format eBooks quickly without any headaches. Not only that, the AI writing plus outline generator saves you a lot of time. And the flipbook export adds polish for certain projects. You can globalize your styling edits. You get a good load of templates even on the base plan. There is a very affordable lifetime option available for designer, which I'll tell you about in a minute when we get to the pricing. And it's also perfect for lead magnets, checklists, guides, and digital products. Now on the downsides, there is a learning curve, as I mentioned earlier, it will take you a couple of days to get used to designer and Word Genie also operates on the credit system, which I'll explain in a minute when we talk about the pricing. And thirdly, creating eBooks from YouTube videos and podcasts is on the higher price plan, as well as the 3D mock-up generator and the audiobook creator. So when it comes to using designer, it's a great fit for you if you create lead magnets or if you create digital products, or if you teach, coach, or consult, or if you want to repurpose posts, YouTube videos, and podcast content, or if you hate formatting or want to speed up the whole content creation process. That said, it's not a great fit for you if you need ultra custom designs like a full graphic designer would need. So when it comes to the pricing, there is a hidden lifetime deal, which I'll explain in a minute, but for their regular pricing, designer starts at $29 per month for the standard plan. This allows you to create an unlimited amount of eBooks, whether you're creating your eBooks from blog posts or importing your own content from Microsoft Word or Google Docs, as well as being able to use Word Genie, the AI writer, to write your entire content for you or edit your own writing. Then on the higher price plans, you get access to more templates, as well as the ability to publish directly to Amazon Kindle using the 3D mock-up generator and the ability to create eBooks from YouTube videos and podcasts too and the audiobook creator is only available on the pro or premium plan too now when it comes to the hidden lifetime deal it's 27 dollars one-time payment to give you lifetime access to the standard plan and you can get access to that by the link in the description below this video so when you click on that link it'll bring you to this page right here and if you scroll all the way down to the bottom you will see the special offer right here one-time payment 27 dollars gives you lifetime access to the standard plan this will enable you to create an unlimited amount of ebooks as well as turning blog posts into ebooks or importing from word docs or google docs and also using Word Genie to write the entire content of your ebooks for you. Now, bear in mind, Word Genie operates on a credit system because, of course, it does cost designer in order to be able to keep creating that content for you. So with this $27 one-time payment lifetime deal, while you'll have lifetime access to be able to use designer, this $27 will only cover you for 100,000 credits for Word Genie. And 100,000 credits will allow you to create around four to five full eBooks if you're using Word Genie to create them. Now, after that, if you want to continue using Word Genie to so write more eBooks for you and you still want to continue using the lifetime deal plan, then all you need to to do is purchase additional credits at $17 for an additional 100,000 credits that will then allow you to create another four to five ebooks. That aside, if you didn't want to continue buying new credits, that's absolutely fine. You can continue to use your designer lifetime deal plan right here, but from then on, once you've used up your credits, you'll then only be able to create ebooks if you're importing them from blog posts or if you're importing your own content from a Word doc or a Google doc. So if you're doing that, then you can create an unlimited amount of ebooks in that way without having to purchase any more Word Genie credits. Now, if you're wanting to create ebooks quickly, then this lifetime deal offer is an absolute no-brainer. And again, you can get access to this lifetime deal via the link in the description box below this video. Now, if you want to see how to turn YouTube videos into ebooks with Designer, then watch this video right here. Or if you want to see how to create audiobooks using Designer, then watch this video right here.